Hey everyone, in today's quick how-to video, I wanna show you how to issue a refund on your PayPal account. So if you wanna refund the customer, for example, I'll show you exactly how to do it on PayPal. We'll start on the computer on paypal.com, then I'll show you how to do it on the mobile app as well. On paypal.com, make sure you log into your account and regardless if it's a business or a personal account, the refund process is the same. All you have to do is go to the activity tab right on top, and on this page, you should see all your completed transactions. So find the one that you want to refund. In this case, let's say I want to refund this item right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it should expand this for me where I should see this option right here to refund this payment. Go ahead and click that. And on this page, you have a couple of different options. You could actually refund the total amount, which by default should be here, but you could do a partial refund as well. So you could type a different number in this box right here and you could get to issue a refund right on the bottom of the page. You could also read about the fee refund policy here if you wanna learn more. Now, when it comes to partial refunds, partial refunds are not available for personal payments or for transaction marked as pending. So make sure you understand that if you're gonna do a partial amount refund here. And once you're all set, you just press issue refund and then confirm it on the next page. Let's jump into the mobile app. I'll show you exactly where to find the same option. On the mobile app for PayPal, all you have to do is look on the homepage here for recent activity. If you scroll down a little bit here on the recent activity, there is view all activity, which basically brings you to the activities tab that we saw on the desktop. And what's nice about the mobile app is you could actually enter name, email, or mobile phone number of someone to search for them here if you don't want to manually find them under the completed list here. But in this case, I know what I'm going to refund here. So I'm going to choose it under the completed list and issue a refund on mobile is right in the center. So you could go ahead and tap that. And then the same thing, you can issue a refund for a full or partial amount for 180 days after original payment was sent. And you'll have all that information here. If you scroll all the way down, you could see the total refund amount is in that box and then you could go ahead and press continue and confirm the refund on the next page. And it's that simple to issue a refund on paypal.com and the PayPal mobile app. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time.